Hello lovely ladies and gents and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Evelyn Wood if we haven't met yet and I usually do tips and tricks and dressmaking and sewing and everything vintage fashion and today I thought I would mix it up a little bit and I've decided to film the process of myself creating and making uh, this beautiful 1930s inspired dress that uh, I made as recently as yesterday for a wedding today. So it was very, very last minute. As what any reasonable dressmaker does is just casually decide to make up an entirely new style of dress the day before an event, naturally. Anyway, I thought I, that I would show you the creative process, what it looks like behind the scenes, the fitting process as it looks rather ugly to a little bit nicer, a little bit nicer, and then finally, how it gets to this. So let's go through and you can follow my little journey on this one. So what I'm inspired by uh, the most is the sleeves of this beautiful black dress here. So I love all this uh, straight lines that it's got coming through and the um, fullness of it all and the straight lines through here contrasting across the, the straight of the sleeve. So I'm just loving this. Um, probably something slightly different for the skirt. I'm thinking more um, a bias cut dress, more like this, um, probably just all the way straight through, no uh, seam lines down on the skirt. I'm going to use um, a contrast black ribbon to create these uh, straight stripes through the sleeves and possibly some to um, decorate the neckline with. So I have lots of this black ribbon that I'm going to use on top of this gorgeous uh, velvet fabric that I have. I may or may not use some uh, decorative trims. Like any good project, I will make it up and then see what I need to do along the way. So I've decided to start with a sort of 1930s pattern uh, that I've constructed before. I'm going to change it up though, um, quite a lot, change the neckline and obviously create this beautiful sleeve. Uh, so I will get to work because I'm on a time limit for this one. Okay, I've just put the outside shell on, uh, so it is not so bad. I quite like how the bodice all fits. Uh, at the back I just need to take in down here a little bit. Mostly I need to change the shape of the skirt. The actual, the back piece is a lot bigger than the front and so the side seam is being, you can see this side is being skewed. So I'm going to take it out of the back all up through there to bring that seam back in and then it should start to look a lot more like I want it to on the skirt. But I think it's going to turn out all right. I'm going to put it on my mannequin to keep going and do all the pinning and finer details. So four hours was 
overly ambitious of me to think that I could do this in that time. Perhaps if I had already had a pattern and knew it fitted. It's been fitting after fitting after fitting to get this correct and it is just been a nightmare so far. But it is looking lovely and I think I finally got the fit right. It's just now sleeves but I really need a break so it's getting left here for now. So I've put uh, the dress on, I've cropped back the sleeves here just a little bit. They're still a little uneven so I've got a bit of work to do but I really quite like it with this tie and it's coming along quite well. Just a funny bit on this side of the hip. Um, so I'm just going to take this off and do something with this and I've added some shoulder pads so I'm going to put those in as well. It's a pretty epic shoulder right? It's so heavy it keeps falling down. <laughs> I'm going to tie a little string at the back I think to fix that one. <sighs> okay, I'm just on the hem now. And this has been fairly epic. It's taken a lot longer than I had wanted. But when I think about it, it's a, it's a brand new style that I haven't tested before. Uh, completely new pattern. Um, you know, it's, uh, that's what's going to happen. You need trial and error. So I took uh, three fittings to get it right. And yeah. The sleeves needed, you know, trimming and testing and a lot of trimming to get them all uh, to sit uh, as straight as I could anyway. Uh, there's still a few changes that I would make, of course, but uh, on the whole, I think it's uh, pretty good. So, just going to finish this hem, one final press, and then I will call it a night on this one. I'll take the after pictures, or the the end pictures I should say, tomorrow when I've uh, all dolled up and I've got my lashes on and looking lovely. Uh, I'll take some proper pictures then, so... <sighs> As I said, this one was a little different, uh, a little more behind the scenes, uh, seeing the creative process on how I start with fabric and how it turns into something, you know, okay, after fitting, after fitting, after fitting, turns out to be something quite different. And from original design to how it ends up is quite different. You know, I was going to have all the uh, stripes through the sleeves, but it just didn't end up happening because time constraints and when I did this as it is I really quite liked it so it did obviously turn out quite different from my inspired look but the same elements you know the sleeves and everything are still there there are a few things that I would change on this garment uh, and that is the I would look at doing the stripes the black stripes all the way through the sleeves but I'll play around with that when I have a bit more time 
Uh, I would actually uh, shorten this bodice length through the shoulders here. It is just too long. So really, you can see there, it still needs to come up. Uh, so, and this tie here is actually a result of when I put the sleeves on. They got so heavy that they would fall down all the time. And this is a dancing event, so I just can't have straps falling down all the time. So I decided to put that little ribbon there to actually hold them up because of the enormity of these sleeves. There's just too much weight. So there's a few things like that as well that uh, came along the process that I didn't get to share with you earlier. So they're my uh, end, you know, once it's done, the things I would change about this garment. So if you did enjoy watching this one and the behind the scenes and seeing the creative process and what happens, how it evolves, let me know in the comments below uh, how you enjoyed it. If you liked it, I'll probably make some more. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Thank you again so much for watching and until next time, bye.